Hi, everybody, and welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for June the 25th, I want to invite you to join, and you'll have access here. You see the Z Code VIP Club section, and you see all these tools here across the top to help you make your picks. Okay, so we have a really full slate of games for the 25th, and we're getting closer and closer to the All Star break as the teams have just about finished the first half of the season. So we're going to take a look at five of these games. So we're going to get started here. The first one we want to look at here is uh, Cleveland and Baltimore. So you can see Cleveland coming in burning hot, winners of their last three after dropping their previous three, and Baltimore is average after dropping a game uh, 14 to 11, a real high scoring contest. In fact, you can see they've been scoring a lot of runs. Um, in fact, their last three games have been over the line. They're four and two over their last six. And you can also notice that Cleveland has been over the line in five out of the last six games as well. And this leads us to a score prediction of five to one in favor of Baltimore. The confidence in the prediction is very low, though, that only, I'm only 32% right now. If we take a look at the power ranks indicator, Cleveland, uh, after a, start, a steep incline, dipped a little bit to 24, and Baltimore has been up and down as of late. You see the up and downward trend of this uh, black line in there now at plus 13. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup, you see the teams have not yet met this season. So the first time meeting between these two teams with Cleveland leading the AL uh, Central and Baltimore second in the AL East. Um, Cleveland is 23-17 and 17 on the road and Baltimore is 25-15 at home. Let's take a look at the volatility oscillator. You can see here that Baltimore is very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, more so than Cleveland has been. And in the end, though, I like the Orioles at home. They will be the favorites, and they are very good at home. So let's go with the Orioles in a game over the line. The next game we want to look at is the Yankees and the Mets, the Battle of New York. The Yankees, despite having the best record in the league, have struggled lately. You can see dead status there, just 1-5 over the last six. And they've really been pummeled in the last two games by Atlanta and Baltimore. And the Mets are burning hot there on the rise. They are 5-1 and one over the last six and coming off an 11-1 to one win over the Cubs. See, the teams have been involved in games over the line, mainly in the last 12, 10 out of the last 12 games. The score prediction is for a rather mediocre middle-of-the-road type score, 5-3 to three in favor of the Yankees, but the confidence in the prediction is still rather low at 53%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see the Yankees, because of their recent skid, have dipped all the way down to 3, and the Mets are at plus 21. The teams have not yet met this season. Let's look at the stability factor. Uh, you can see the Yankees are much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, sitting here at plus 13, while the Mets have really never been higher than uh, plus one. Well, they're up here at plus three. They've never been higher than plus three for the entire season, and now sit at plus one. The Yankees have a big edge and run differential of plus 100 to plus three, and the Yankees are much better on the road than uh, the, the Mets are even at home. So I like the Yankees to prevail but pass on the over-under bet. We're going to look now at Atlanta and St. Louis. The Braves are coming on strong, winners of five out of their last six games, burning hot status, and have cut the deficit to six games under the Phillies in the National League East, while the Cardinals are average status three and three over their last six. If you look at the over-under, you can see two out of the last four games that the Braves have been involved in have been over, and the Cardinals, three out of the last four, have been over. The score prediction is for Atlanta by a 6-1 to one score. Confidence in the prediction. Again, that, none, of these confidence, none of these predictions have much confidence in them at the moment. This one's only 58%. Uh, the power ranks indicator, Atlanta on a steep upward climb. See that? That climb there up to plus 26. And St. Louis is steep dip. And now they're back on the, uh, on the upward trend, uh, back up to plus 8. Um, the starting pitchers have not yet been named for, for this contest. It's a very nice tool, the pitcher profit oscillator, but we can't really use it right now because the pitchers have not yet been named. Um, the head-to-head -head status, uh, teams have not yet played this season. And the volatility-wise, the consistency factor, Atlanta plus 14 compared to plus 7 for the Cardinals. So they, again, are more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. 
Um, so basically, if we look at the uh, difference between the home and road records, the Cardinals are three games over 500 at home. And the Braves are an even 500 on the road. I like Atlanta to win this one on the road. I like their pitching to prevail. And I like a low-scoring game under the line. Uh, Miami and Kansas City, no. Dodgers and the White Sox. You can see a full slate of games. We're just going to take over five of them, so we have two more to look at. Uh, the Rangers and the Brewers. The Rangers come in average up. Winners of their last two after dropping their last four. Milwaukee average down, almost the exact opposite. Losers of their last two after winning three of their previous four. Uh, the total streak we see under or over the line in most cases. Only two games out of the last 12 combined have been under the line. The score prediction is for a, again, middle-of-the-road score with middle-of-the-road confidence, 5-3, to three, and the confidence in the prediction just a tad under a toss of a coin. Uh, the power ranks indicator nearly even after there was a big disparity just a short time ago, uh, just a few days ago. Milwaukee was a, a lot higher than Texas. Now they pretty much met even with Texas holding a set 18 to 17 edge. So the Brewers have been very good at home. This is going to lean me towards the pick I'm going to make. They're 22 and 12 at home. Uh, yeah, so I like the Brewers to continue the hot streak at home in a game over the line. Okay, the last one we want to look at here as we scroll down the list of games. The Cubs and the Giants. The Cubs come in average down, 3-3 uh, three three over the last six. While the Giants have been really plummeting, they are ice cold down. Losers up their last three. Uh, let's go to the Power Ranks Indicator. Both on the on the steep downward trend, you see uh, San Francisco down to plus four, while the Cubs are at plus eleven. We see the steep downward trends with both the lines. Uh, head to head wise, the team did play back in June sixth, seventeenth, eighteenth, and nineteenth in Chicago. The, the Cubs winning two out of the three games. Well, all the games have been relatively low scoring. Well, not low scoring. I mean close games. One, one, and three run margins in those three games. I expect much the same in this one. Uh, the teams are nearly identical in score differential as well at minus 24 and minus 27. Chicago is only 15 and 23 on the road, and the Giants are a solid 20 and 17 at home. And the score prediction is for the Cubs by a 7 to 6 margin, but I'm not going that way. I'm going to go with, with the Giants. I like the Giants to come away with the win at home, but I think it's going to be a high scoring game. So we'll go with Giants and over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for June the 25th. Happy betting and see you again next time.